What is up everybody, Padre P.U.C.T.F. here, and today, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own custom texture pack for Mind Test. You might be wondering, what's a texture pack? That's a great question. A texture pack is used to customize how each individual block or object looks. So first things first, let's make sure you have Mind Test downloaded. I would recommend downloading the latest version of Mind Test. So in my case, Mind Test 5.7. And while Mind Test is downloading, this is a perfect opportunity for you to smash that subscribe button. Now that Mind Test finished downloading, you're gonna wanna extract it, and then let's open up the Mind Test folder, right click, and then click new and then create a new folder. Name the folder whatever you want the texture pack to be called. Now let's open up our Mind Test client and head over to the content tab. You should see your texture pack listed here. Make sure you click on it and then click use texture pack. This way, whenever we place our textures in here, Mind Test will use our textures instead of the default textures. Next, you're gonna need some sort of pixel art editor. If you're on Windows, I recommend using Microsoft Paint, but basically any pixel editor will do. Now that you have your editor open, you are going to want to change the aspect ratio to fit your desired size. Most texture packs are either 16 by 16 pixels or 32 by 32 pixels. For this texture pack, I'm gonna stick with 16 by 16. So we're gonna come up here to the top left and click the resize button and then switch it to pixels then type 16 and then click OK. Now you can start creating your custom texture. Generally, I like using an image for reference. It just makes it a little bit easier to create your own texture. Once you have your texture finished, you're going to want to save it to your texture file and make sure it's either a PNG or a JPEG. All right, now comes the tricky part. In order for Mind Test to use your image as a texture, you need to make sure you have it named properly. So open up the Mind Test folder and then go to the Games folder. Now scroll down and open up the mods folder. In my case, I'm looking for the diamond pickaxe. So I'm going to go into the default folder, then textures, and then search for diamond. Now that I found the diamond pickaxe, I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna copy its name. And then I'm gonna paste it on my pickaxe texture. It should look something like this. Now let's open up our mind test client. Let's go to the start tab and then click new, name it texture pack testing or whatever you want, then click create and then play game. Now that we are inside of our private server, let's open up our inventory then let's click these arrows until we find the diamond pickaxe. And as you can see, the diamond pickaxe is now using our custom pickaxe texture. Now all that's left to do is do this for each individual texture. I know it can be a bit tedious, but once it's done, it looks amazing. Also, feel free to use extra folders to keep everything organized. Now, if you're going to create a texture for a block, like a block of dirt with grass, you are going to need to make three different textures. One for the top, one for the sides, and then one for the bottom. Just make sure you name them all correctly, and voila! You have your own custom texture pack. So let's say you wanted to create your own custom texture for the med kit in Mind Test Capture the Flag. You're gonna have to go to GitHub, and then search for Mind Test Capture the Flag, and then download this one. And then inside of here, this will have everything you will need. So all you're going to need to do is open up the Mind Test Capture the Flag folder, and then search for med kit, and then here you can copy the name, which is CTF underscore healing underscore med kit and you have to make sure that you name your texture the exact same, otherwise it will not work. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And remember, keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you in my next video.